Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Pre-Calculus Series. In this video, we are going to be explaining the very basics of absolute value as used in our pre-calculus textbook. And I'm going to provide a link to our pre-calculus textbook in the description of this video. And remember that at any time you can click on the sigma in the bottom right hand corner of your screen to visit our website for even more math resources. So let's get started with a very basic review of absolute value. So when you see absolute value written, it looks like this. You've got two parallel lines outside of your variable x, and that is equal to a 3. So if you see an expression like this, just a very normal x equals 3, you're, you know that you're identifying where that x is on the number line, and your x is equal to 3. But when we're using absolute value, what we're finding is our variable, when it's located a certain number of units away from zero on your number line. And so from zero, if we count one, two, three units, we'll find that x can equal positive three. But we can also go left from zero, three units, and we'll find that x can also be equal to negative three. So you can also see, you can also see absolute value equations written like this. So we'll have 4y, the absolute value of 4y is equal to 16 units away from zero. So if our number line were to go all the way to 16, we'll just have our 16 out here, and if we were to um, count up our units, so 5 and 16 units. So we know that we're looking for where our y multiplied by 4 is equal to either positive 16 or we can go backwards to negative 16. So 4y is equal to 16 or 4y is equal to negative 16. And we'll find that we have two possible y values y equals 4, or y is equal to negative 4. And we can see absolute values written in another way, like in the case of x is equal to the absolute value of 3. So in this case, we've got our variable is going to be the number of units away from zero. In our previous example, our variable um, was not the number of units. Um, so in this case, we've got our three, and we know if we can count backwards from that, that's one, two, three units away from zero. So in this case, x is simply equal to three. But we could also have something like x is equal to the absolute value of negative 5. So in this case, we're still going to be identifying the number of units away from 0. So if we count our units backwards to negative 5, we'll see that we have exactly 5 units from 0. And you'll find that if you have a, uh, a negative unit, in your um, absolute value, in your absolute value markers, you're just going to be find, you, you're just going to be identifying the positive version of that number. So, in our next absolute value video, we are going to be going over um, sample equations as they're used in pre-calculus, like in our textbook. So, um, click on the link in the description of this video to go to that next video, or um, if you are using our playlist, it should come up automatically. Thank you for watching.